Hello Capricorn, Capricorn, welcome to your reading. Let's have a look at our oracle cards to see the messages that you need to know right now. So let's see what is coming up for you. The first card that is coming up, Capricorn, the divine is saying it is important for you to release any attachments. It is important for you to release emotionally anything that is holding you back. Because anything that is holding you back is creating this web. And this web catches you emotionally. And then you are not able to look forward to where you are going. Things of the past trauma keeps pulling you back. And the divine is saying to you, it creates a blockage. It creates an, an attachment. And so whatever it is that you need to let go of, let go of it. Even if it means going to therapy, speaking to a friend, writing in a diary, whatever it is that you need to do, release this attachment because it is stopping you from climbing that mountain that is there and getting to the top. Because Capricorn, you know that you were built to be that mountain goat that is meant to get to the top of the mountain. You're almost there, but something has got a hold of you. What is holding you back is the question that is here. So the next card that we have, the divine is saying that it is important for you to look at the connections, the contracts, the commitments, the partnerships that either you are entering into. Because remember, we spoke about this blockage that is here. So the divine is saying that it is important for you to truly understand what partnerships and contracts that you're entering into, because sometimes you just could be falling for a trap. For some of you, though, the divine is saying, as you are letting go of these attachments, as, you, as you're doing the healing that you need to do, as you're facing your shadow self, as you're not running away from the trauma, as you're facing it head on, you are going to be releasing yourself. And in releasing yourself, you're going to find the connections that are just perfect. You're going to enter into partnerships, into commitments that are balanced and that feel right. Why balanced? Because we have the energies of the number 29 that is here. When we bring it to a single digit, it is a number 11. And when we speak of the number 11, it is the number that is mirroring each other. It is a number that is balanced. So for you, the divine is saying when you balance your energy, when you let go of whatever it is that you need to let go of, when you do the shadow work, finally, you feel free. Finally, you're then able to attract the people who bring the same type of energies. But if you're still holding on to resentment, resentment, to anger, this is when you attract the other people that reinforce this energy that is here. Because life is about confirming what we feel and what we believe. And if we feel that the past wronged us, if we feel angry, if we are feeling guilty, we keep on creating the same type of experiences in our future. And I love the fact that as we're talking about these two cards, can you see that there are gems that are here? So the divine is saying the past has given you a lot of valuable information. Take what is valuable and go with it. Don't keep on allowing yourself to keep on getting held back by things that don't serve you, by anger, waiting for people to apologize. They are not. Take everything that you have learned. Take everything that you have learned into new relationships and partnerships. Okay. I just noticed that um, those gems that were there and the crystals that were here. So let's get one more card to see what else is coming up. The next card that we have, look at that, is talking about justice balancing like i told you the energies okay harmony and solutions to whatever it is that you have experienced so like i said you could be going to therapy you could be writing things in a diary you could just be releasing all the trauma and in doing so you bring balance and harmony to your heart your mind your soul your future and also the past so the divine is saying justice will be served when it gets served. But for you, it is important for you to find solutions to releasing yourself from anything that is keeping you 
frozen, attached, in a bondage, in a bind. So what we're going to do, we're going to get some more tarot cards to see what else is coming up. I thought it's interesting. We have a number two that is here. And this card is a number nine. And this card is the number two and nine. I just love the synchronicities when you take time to notice the synchronicities that is here. So these two cards are saying that there is a positive energy that is waiting, balancing out these two cards that are here. And when you do what you need to do to really focus this energy, to cleanse it, to release it, to feel it, to cry it out, to do whatever needs to be done, you then balance these energies to receive what you're currently praying for. And this is an energy of balance. This is an energy of having people, partnerships, commitments that pour into you rather than take, take, take and leave you in this space of emptiness and darkness. Okay, so the first oracle card that we have, the divine is saying to you again, if it doesn't bring you peace, it's not for you. We already spoke about justice. We already spoke about harmony and solutions. So the divine is saying to you, it is going to be really important for you to understand that peace of mind is going to be imperative to have as you go forward. Peace of mind sometimes is underrated. By not having peace of mind, you remain attached to the past. By not having peace of mind, you create blockages for yourself. So it is time for you to make peace with the past so that you can finally have the peace, balance, harmony, and justice that you need. So the next oracle card is saying to you, it is important for you to start making the moves that you need to make so that you don't remain attached to the darkness of the past. The divine is wanting you to understand that the, sh the sun will shine again. The light will come again. The darkness doesn't have to stay forever. And sometimes when we are going through our darkest hours, this is just before the dawn. This is just before the st sun starts shining. So the divine is saying, do whatever needs to be done so that you can finally be free from the past and have that mental peace that is really important. And not be afraid on going on journeys that might feel painful, that might feel uncomfortable. But you must go through the journey because you're going to get to the end energy of harmony and solutions about how to deal with this situation that is there. So the last card from our Oracle cards is saying to you, it is important for you to understand that your guides are trying to get your attention, especially if you're going through your darkest hour, especially if you're going through challenges, especially if you're starting to welcome peace in your life, if you're starting to value peace of mind and understanding that you must face the past, you must face whatever it is that you need to face. Your guides and your ancestors are saying to you that we are here ready to walk with you and we are going to be giving you important messages as you are releasing yourself from the past and going towards a future that is full of harmony, that is full of joy, that is full of justice. Let's get our tarot cards on the table. As we get our tarot cards, remember, I do cord cutting ceremonies, banishing ceremonies, return to sender ceremonies. I do ceremonies where we call your power back, Hanija ceremonies to call the sweet things in life, spiritual cleansing ceremonies, and a lot, lot more, as well as tarot uh, courses that are there. So everything that you need to know about what I offer can be found on my website, which is linked in the description box below. At the bottom of the deck, the divine is saying what you're currently not seeing at the moment is that there is an ending to this painful cycle that is there. And there is a rebirth where finally you have this energy of feeling harmonious when you are at peace with whatever happened here. You're at peace with the past and you are at peace with the future. So the energies of the death card is saying to you that you are going to be feeling like you got born again. 
because you finally let go of what you need to let go of. And in letting go of something, you leave space for something else to take the energy of this situation that is there. When you hold on to a situation, when you hold on to pain, to anger, you freeze and encapsulate yourself in that experience. So it is time to let go of that experience, bring new experiences and solutions to whatever it is that is there. As we're looking to our tarot cards, the first tarot card was a major arcana card of the high priestess. And it's interesting that we spoke about your guides and your ancestors wanting to give you powerful messages, important messages. So you could be seeing that at night you're receiving downloads. At night you're receiving information. So it is important for you to keep a pen and paper by the side of your bed so that when you receive messages, symbols, signs, you can get up and write them down and research them and then understand what the message is that your guides and your ancestors are trying to give you. Because as the high priestess, you are going to be understanding, you're going to have that inner knowing as your higher self is starting to speak to you, as your higher self is starting to open your eyes and to show you, like I said, the solutions to some situations. So it is important to pay attention to your dreams as you are sleeping because you're going to be seeing important information that is going to be helping you decipher some situations that are here. The energies of the Page of Wands is showing you going in a new direction. You've wiped this slate clean. You're now going to receive your magic wand so that you can start creating the life that you want on your own terms. Not only that, we spoke about not settling for short-term comfort. The energies of the Seven of Pentacles, we are seeing you here, putting your time, your efforts into nurturing your money, your wealth, your health, and the things that you care about. So now the storm is over. And now you are seeing yourself at the other side where the sun is shining. You're no longer worried about the past, but now you're putting your efforts into something that's going to pay you back. You're now at peace with the past and the future. And you're going to be nurturing this energy so that it can grow so whatever it is that is standing in the way, this is going to evaporate because as you can see, you're going to be entering a sunny, right? You've got our sun. There's a new dawn of a new chapter that is rising for you as you're entering that new chapter, that new portal that is there, that new timeline. And we now see you here focused and really having embodied this golden new era that you're going towards. So this is the energies that the divine wanted to bring to the table. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. And also remember that it is important for you to interact with the video and to comment whatever it is that feels right to you. So for those of you who are doing our quantum lip ritual, let's go and do some magic now hello magician this is the section of the reading where we are remembering that we are the magicians and the architects of our lives this is the very same manifestation ritual that i used in 2023 and it only took me a couple of weeks to become a multi-millionaire i wanted to share this ritual with you because I want that by 2025, we have thousands of people who have manifested their dreams. Now, we are going to be taking this opportunity to work together as a community, wishing each other well. On every reading, please do remember to bring a full glass of water and your petition, you could write what you want to leave behind and on the other side, have an empty glass with a petition of what you want to become a reality. 
we have our cards on the table and I use these cards just as a visualization to help me manifest. So I had this star card and the star card is all about your wishes coming true. And the next card that I had was the eight of wands encouraging my wishes to come true quickly, swiftly, fast. And then I had the magician card which was a reminder to me that I am the magician, I am the alchemist, and I am the architect of my life. So these are cards that I just chose to work with, but you don't have to do that. You can just keep it simple and to the point. So are you ready to take part in this ritual? So bring your two glasses, one empty and one full of water. The one with water, just remember to write what it is that you want to leave behind. Because you are going to be quantum leaping into what it is that you want. So on the empty glass of water, write what it is that you are seeing yourself enjoying. If you're wishing to win the lottery, just say with gratitude divine, I am so thankful that I have won the lottery. Infuse this type of energy, the energies of the nine of cups. Feel yourself like it's already done. Bring this vibe, this energy when you are writing your petition like it is already a reality. Think of yourself how you're going to feel when you've won the lottery. So let's take a moment to just say a prayer to the divine with words of gratitude. Divine, thank you so much for everything that I already have in my life. Thank you for all the blessings that I have. Divine, I am the luckiest person alive. Going forward, I have some wishes that I want to make. I see myself living the life of my dreams. I see myself quantum leaping to a new timeline divine where I have won the lottery, where I am a multimillionaire, where I am living the life of my dreams, where I am healthy, where I am loved, where manifestations just happen so easily and quickly for me. And of course, for the good of all involved, and harm to none. Ashe. Can you feel that vibration? Can you feel the smile on my face as I'm seeing myself living the life of my dreams as the energies of the Nine of Cups? And this is what you want to infuse in your water so that you can quantum leap into the new timeline. So what we're going to do next, we are going to now bring into physical reality the action of quantum leaping. Let's get ready to quantum leap into the new timeline. In, breathe in and feel yourself feeling like this. And take your water and see yourself jumping over into the new timeline. And as you are pouring the water into the next cup, into that empty vessel, see yourself feel the new reality becoming a manifestation into the tangible reality. Just feel and infuse this new quantum leap, infuse this new timeline with so much joy, with so much gratitude, with so much love. Thank you, divine. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now take that cup of water and drink it because now this is the new reality. This is the new timeline and the action of drinking the water is that water is going to become you, is going to become a part of you and water holds memory so we are drinking this water, holding the memory of the feeling of the energies of the Nine of Cups. We've really infused the joy. We've really infused this water with the gratitude. We have infused the love, the excitement and everything that we want as if it's already happened. So take a glass 
Cheers. Enjoy the new timeline that is now becoming a part of you. <laughs> and so it is for the good of all and harm to none. Enjoy your new reality and remember to go in the comment section below and comment on eight people's manifestation. Because remember, by giving, you open up your hands to receiving. Ashay.